Hey guys, Kavone here, and I'm gonna bring sort of an unusual video for my channel. Uh, so I don't normally make videos or stream League of Legends purely for the fact that it's oversaturated. Like, so many people do it, it's, there's sort of no point. I I wouldn't get noticed if I did. However, there's something I just really need to get off my chest about this game, which is something really really stupid. So I'm going to be talking about the Hexet crafting system and specifically chests. Now quick uh, quick overview. You get chests for getting an S or S minus in a game on a champion which you haven't got already. So I'm showing my champions here. Like my Sona has not got an S. We'll get to that. That's what the rant is going to be about. But I've got quite a lot of champions with an S. Now, all of the champions I'm good with have S's already, except for Sona. Now, I want to touch on the fact that, first of all, something that is really, really frustrating about this system is because you need an S, you need to have a really high uh, KDA. But it also takes other things into account, like number of wards, for instance. Now, the problem here is that if you get really, really far ahead in the early game, to the point where you would get an S, more often than not, the enemy will, for, will surrender before you have enough time to snowball enough to actually get that S. You won't get enough kills or assists bef like before they surrender. And, you probably won't die in that time if you had that time as well. So this is one. This is my big complaint, and I also want to complain about the fact that how do you get an S on Sona? Because Sona in particular, or support, is just ludicrous. I had a game just before this which sparked me complaining about this where I had 1 for 1 for 17 in a 24 minute game. The enemy team surrendered after I went 1 for 1 for 17. My friend who was also in the game with me as my ADC he got 9 for 1 for 7. Neither of us got an S. H how does that work? I mean 17 assists within 24 minutes before they surrendered and they surrendered really early like we were we were still still sort of in the laning phase but we were about to win the game how does that not equate to an s and i'm going to show some stats this game here and i know wards are taken into account but we'll just see i mean that's ridiculous I didn't get any CS because I'm a support, I, I'm not meant to be taking CS. I took an item which allows me to poke the enemy and get gold for it. I'm not taking any CS, I'm a support. <coughs> now as you can see, I had the third highest damage on the team as well. And I had a decent amount of healing, although I didn't heal too much, but that was because I didn't need to in this game. I I healed when I needed to heal my team, but aside from that, I, I didn't actually have to heal them that much because we won so convincingly. But that, I mean, that war count though, uh, that war count as well. I placed a ton of wards, so and I know that's factored into the support. So, how is this an A game? How is this not an S? It. It is utterly ludicrous. I also had the game um, with Sona, and this is coming back to the forfeiting thing, uh, which I'm going to show soon. Which I ended something like 105, and sure, that isn't too impressive, but that's a twen that 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 was a game that surrendered at 20 minutes, and well, if the game had gone on longer, I would have most definitely got an S, just from just from uh, kills and assists. I, it's, even if I died once, I'd have still prob Well, I don't even know at this point because he seemed to not be able to get an S on Sona. I also played Gallia because 
I read somewhere that if you play an off meta pick, it's easier to get an S. And as in the game makes it easier to to get an S. Not just that your enemy team doesn't know how to play against for instance support Galio, which I which I did. But it's crazy and I did two for two for six support game as Galio. That was another surrender. I got a B for it. And I mean I, I showed this earlier in the video on the screen that I actually only have a maximum of a B as Galio. And I thought I did pretty damn well in that game. But the game doesn't think so. I mean and on screen this is my I think it's a one zero five. This is crazy. And the other thing with this is uh, my uh, my friend got three for zero for two as the new champion. He would have got an S as well had the game gone on longer. But I sort of feel this system does not incorporate the fact that teams surrender. But if you end it, the thing is, if you ended a, a full length game, you killed the Nexus and got 1 for 1 for 17. That's still a bloody good game. Doesn't matter how long the game lasted, you did. You had a very strong game if you did that. And the fact I'm, I'm also actually doing quite a lot of damage as Sona as well. And sure, my build might be, my build path, path might not be optimal. It's what I find works for me. And I don't think builds are taken into account. They definitely shouldn't because some people might build an item that works better for them, such as the new Hextech items. I prefer the missiles rather than the dash, but some people might prefer the dash over the missiles, and that's their choice. So, and something else I want to really complain about is okay. What happens when you get the boxes on all the champions that you own? You can't earn any more boxes for the rest of the season. It takes that long to reset. Ah. Uh, anyway, run over. Thanks for watching, guys. And comment and l let me know how you feel about this as well.